Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our Let's Play as the Julii in the original Rome Total War. Now last time we fought the Gauls in a few battles over here, we took Massilia, uh, we took Lepsis Magna, and then we moved from Rhodes across onto Anatolia, and we are besieging with two armies in Anatolia. I think two armies should be enough, two pretty much full stacks. Now this leader, we might actually switch out Vibius here for, I've just been having a look around, for one of these guys, Quintus Ahenobarbus, maybe. Because he's only 24 and he's got two skill. Mm. Although, yeah, he'll be superseded by Vibius still. What about Decimus? Yeah, we might use Decimus actually. Just because he's younger. Yeah, he's 15 years younger, so we probably want to use Decimus for that. Now, in terms of everything we're doing, I think we've completed all our construction. We'll just check. I forgot we've got a general there as well. Yeah, I assume Lepsis Magna's all right. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've got this guy here as well. He's actually okay as a commander. Um... That's fine, and then we've got Carthage here that has uh, Manius Julius, who's quite a good commander, but he's also a superior builder. Um, flexible isn't great, getting rid of the law, but and he's a political animal, so cool. Uh, and then here we've done everything we can do, so we just have to attack here and hope that we can get Halicarnassus. And what does the yeah, it speeds up building time. That's that's all right to be fair for our larger buildings. So let's attack Pontus. They have chariots that actually have a quite a bit of experience, but the rest of their army is pretty trash. They all have experience, so they must have been fighting. But that experience doesn't matter if they start routing. So, God, look at these barbarian mercenaries with experience. Like their defense skill is six now, and their attack is twelve. They're actually pretty good but that's just I, I wonder what they've got inside the settlement I suppose we'll see 121 men are there any of these units are these Eastern infantry do they have 121 base maybe so it could just be an Eastern infantry but not sure we should beat them now in terms of the chariots that's the one thing we need to look out for I think they were the uh, archer chariots which are a lot worse than the side chariots so this army of that's fine. We'll listen to uh, this speech. Honor and bravery. I say that they are wrong, and their dead will be many. They have been brought to the battlefield by mewling infants instead of leaders. The count of our warriors is vastly greater than theirs, so unless we fight like old women or idiots, victory is certain. The enemy will undoubtedly try to slaughter us at a distance. We must charge home and stop their cowardly plan. Those people have never met us on a field of battle. After today, they will flee at the sound of our approach. The seer can offer no guidance for this day. So we must grasp our own fates and make what we will of them with an iron purpose. And remember this above all. Our Roman gods are watching. Make sure they are not ashamed. <laughs> Cool. I think that's it. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, this is actually a good map again. So they should be coming in from the left. But these guys in front of us can't escape behind them because of the coast. So the people coming in from the left, I just don't want them to escape. So we might actually head over to the right. Because we need to kill them. Although they're probably only one unit. So we could probably send maybe three cavalry units. And the general. I know that sounds a bit overkill, but we just want to make sure. If there's like chariots or something, we'll just back off. Then the rest of us, we're going to come to the right and we're going to come around this way, maybe. They're probably going to be set up here and try and block them off from their retreat. Um, in terms of the chariots, the only thing we can really use to combat them are our archers and our hoplites. Op so, we're going to have to try and use them to the best best we can. I think we just hold here for the sec. We check what are they. 
Oh no, they look like they're scythe chariots. Okay, we need our archers to come forward then. We... They've got a bonus versus cavalry, that's the one issue. Now what are these? Eastern infantry it looks like, yeah. Okay. Should be able to deal with them and then come back round. Where are we going? Maybe not the best. No, don't do that. Maybe... That? There we are. You guys run. You still can't fire at those guys. Hmm, those scythe chariots are going to be an absolute pain. Make sure you fire your uh, fire at will and run into position. The scythe chariots are coming. Fire, 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 fire. Quick, quick, go. Okay, they're running away now. Yeah, they're going to charge us. Just uh, standing equities here. And these guys can go this way. You're going to do that? We'll just run you this way. Okay, equities are going to get involved. Oh, Jesus. Broke straight away. Where's that, Jeff? Hoping that the impact of that charge will just break them. No, they're only shaken. Right, let's get out. Don't want to lose the general. Next time we'll rally him. Okay, what's going on over here? Oh Jesus! They've got so many hit points. Let's get away! Get away! Get away! No, get away! Get away! Down there, do nothing, it seems. I should break them now, surely. Yeah, there we are. The enemy army is in flight. Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. Now, the chariots they're broken. Okay, Astarte actually held up okay against them. I think mainly because of the javelins. The enemy general is okay, this cavalry over and here once that's destroyed them. To press the attack. Go actually char target the, the chariots because we don't want to have to deal with them again. Well, we won't actually deal with them again because we're going to destroy this army. So. Right, what's that? Barbarian mercenaries. Run, please. They won't run. There we are. Right, it's been a bit messy this battle so far. So let's uh, let's just finish it. They don't have a general. They've only got Pontic Light Cavalry, that's the general. Pop lights can come forward. Run these guys forward. You guys chase after these. We don't we probably won't need you, so should be okay. Let's just get away from them. don't want to be charging those Eastern Infantry again in the front because they weren't tough but they weren't terrible either. Right, are you going to try and escape because we'll come over here? Okay, you've destroyed them. Chase these guys down. Need a Hastati over here. Okay. Hoping the equities don't uh, charge on purpose. Right, archers will stop you from firing now. Need these guys up here, really. How much have we killed so far? 73. That's alright. The enemy general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave. But if okay, you two you chase down these peltists. Let's go. We'll probably break them here. Let's see how much, how many. Yeah, you're not losing many men. Oh, you broke them already. Probably because of the generals running away. Probably didn't need to be so conservative with that uh, unit. You. Okay. Archers, you fire at these guys. Should kill them. 
Um, we're not going to catch that. Now, if we killed 85%, we killed 100, let's end the battle then. Cool. Who did we lose? Mainly Astarte, I think. Or Equites. A few Equites, actually. Mainly, they're the ones who've mainly been healed, though. And then a few Astarte. Like, these Princopes lost 23. I assume that's from the, uh, the Chariots. We actually did amazingly well against the Chariots, considering. Victory! Probably because we kept our general reasonably close by. Now, do we have enough movement? Yes, just enough, it seems. It's only a large town, but it's unhappy, so let's keep going with the enslavement. Okay, he's got a slave trader now. It's not ideal. Now, to get Quintus, yeah, we don't have the movement yet. There's the uh, um, wonder. Easterner Turncoats, Lentilus Gracchus, which is you. So you should have five, yeah, you should have five whenever you fight against someone else now. Uh, Decimus, oh, we're going to send Decimus, weren't we? Now, do you have any retinues that we could need? Um, plus one command, yeah, we don't want to take that off him. But when we come over here, we can check that Vibius has any, and because we want, we want this guy to uh, supersede Vibius. So, we can see whether... Does Vibius have any? He's got a merchant. No, these are all actually good ones for a town. Yeah, these are really good for a town. We can give him a Priest of Jupiter, actually. He's a politician. He's a skilled bureaucrat. bureaucrat. He should be managing a town, really. Um, now, I think that's everything we can do on this turn. Apart from, maybe... Yeah, we don't want to shrine to Athena. They haven't built anything here. Like, literally two things. Walls. Like, literally walls in a, in a, in a shrine. That is awful. Now, Rose, are you happier? Yes, you are. Uh, we might not need to recruit that peasant then. I think we will. It's not going to cost us too much, so it should be fine. Ah, we forgot, the, we forgot this guy. Set sail! Do we have any other spies? Yes, I don't think we've got any other spies down here, so... Let's see. Yes, yeah, Central master. Gaul. Yes, Thessalia, that's where, yes, where it is. Tripletania and Narbo yes, Martius. Yeah, so we're look, taking a look at Elysia, which looks to be a large town still. This is a large town. They look about the same size. I was thinking maybe it could be a city, but no, it looks like a large town. For cool, I think we'll end the turn there. We've got money left over this turn, so we're definitely getting better with our finances. Uh, we haven't been recruiting that much recently. I don't really want to recruit anymore. We've got like four, four full stack armies of troops that we can't retrain as soon as the Marian reforms come in. So, you know, as soon as the Marian reforms come in, we're going to be training better armies. Arminium, you're going to become a large city. Brilliant. City grows. Carthage. So Carthage is going to become a huge city. Hmm. I don't know whether that will uh, trigger the Marian reforms yet because it's not on on uh, Italy. I think it will take a couple of turns, but we'll see anyway. Uh, Aretium. What do we want here? I honestly think we should start getting Jupiter. Get some more law. Yeah, law going up. Or potentially we could get cavalry stables. So that when we get the Marian reforms we will have stables ready. Hmm. That's probably what we should be building up here really. Batavium is becoming a large city so let's start training. Um, I think he's there. We'll take the shrine to Jupiter. It's cheap. Mediolanium. Let's go with the cavalry stables. Suggestica. Oh, I really want them, but it's a bit expensive. Those mines. Serta. Everything built this turn, that's why we had money left over last turn. Corinth, Athens. Yeah, everything built. Okay, Corinth is expanding as well. We want to probably just save up for that. You, come on here. 
get dropped off. Let's go have a look over here. Now, us, yeah, we can't can't do anything really here. Maybe if we recruit a peasant, how would the situation be? Just put like 59 troops in there. Okay, they're on 65, not too bad. Let's build roads while, while we're moving around this area. Those slingers are good. What did we put in here? Prinker bays, obviously we don't want to put Prinker bays in there. How about you? And we take the Prinker bays out. Still bad, but 70% now. And we'll take, take those slingers. Okay, so we have to just spend all our money, that's fine. Engage the enemy! And um, unit recruitment, roads, are we... Yeah, we're not recruiting anymore. Everywhere needs building and we've just suddenly gone down. I don't know why our financials have just gone down quite a lot. Projected treasury, so 12,000 next turn. For some reason it was only like 6,000 this turn. Which wasn't amazing. Now this could go back for retrading, but it's pretty... Morning. It's alright, it's not too bad. Now, do we want to go for Lily Biome? I mean, it'll delay us so much. Like, it'll take three turns to get there, two turns to take it down. Hmm, kind of the same this way. And then we'd have to go across the ocean, which normally takes ages in a ship. So, let's go down here and take this. Rather than, we'll leave the Scipio one territory. They can have uh, Sicily, and that's it. That's all they get. Okay, now... In terms of the battles we want to do, it's kind of risky to bring you across here. Looks very much like we want to go from Narbo up to Lugdunum. Could maybe put... Oh, how old are you? You're 37 now, so you're actually quite old. We could put a fort here, and that would just completely block them. Also, a couple here, maybe. Don't really have the troops for that, though, yet. Secrecy is a See, yeah, Lamonum is literally a town. It's rubbish. Uh, so they won't be able to train anything apart from Warband there, which generally we can beat. Now, what do they have in here? They've got a general. These Spanish mercenaries are actually quite good. Like, they've only got three armor though, but we don't have any missile troops. Hmm. We've got a lot of cavalry. How long to, like, just get rid of this? Three turns. I think these guys are going to be making their way down to us. We just don't have much infantry, that's the only thing. And I suppose, though, um, like we can just surround them with our cavalry. So let's try that. Um, actually, let's maybe go for Pergamon first, because that might be... Oh, no, there's three generals there. Let's see exactly what they've got. Okay. These, the actual uh, bulk of the army is not too bad. It's just getting rid of those generals, which we've got five archers here, which is potentially what we need for these sieges up here. We need archers, but let's fight it. Let's see what happens. Should still win it. It's just how much troops are we going to lose with the uh, infantry? And it's not even a good town, so we won't be able to retrain them. Well, most likely not be able to retrain them, but we'll see anyway. Let's see what today he says. Today is a good day to die, but better still to live and tell our grandchildren, as yet unborn, of brave Romans who fought well. Today we go into battle against the Gauls, warriors both worthy and brave in equal measure. They have been lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defensive wall, as if that will protect them. There is no advantage in numbers to either side. Therefore, skill and courage will be the keys to this day's battle. All that said, we are the stronger. Every one of you is better than they. Remember this and take heart from the memory. Until the enemy walls crumble, our brave horsemen can do little. Let us breach those walls and hunt down the enemy. Many times I have faced this enemy and many times I have beaten them. Today, when we win, this victory will be yours as much as mine. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth, and let this be one more. March on, and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. 
one thing that's kind of weird about this um, this playthrough is that we're not really getting many uh, general traits, probably because we're just crushing everyone. So like, I, I don't know, do you have to like struggle through a battle to get general traits, or what's the deal with that? Now we've got four rams. I think we will use them all. Two here and two across there. So two here we can use these guys and the two across there can use these smaller units. We're not going to put these smaller units into the battle though. Um, yeah, one here and one here. Now I think generally we're going to have to rely on shock and all. So we'll send this can be one contingent, it can be grouped and this cavalry can be another contingent oh, didn't mean to do that they can be grouped as well and then starty two and two, so two here and then two over the other side now I don't want to keep these guys in a group though so what if we do that do that Hmm, now do this again. Now do this. Okay, that makes sense. That's actually quite good. It's got them split up on rows. So you come through here, you come through here. I don't think they've got many archers in that, so should be okay. It's just these Spanish mercenaries that are an absolute pain. But if they throw all their javelins at our uh, little guys, our barbarian mercenaries then we should be good. Now we probably will need our Astarte to uh, to clear away kind of but yeah I just don't want to these units are not going to be able to be retrained they're already getting quite, quite weak but cavalry really doesn't work too well in settlement so we're going to have to use them They've got a lot of infantry. Luckily they've only got one uh, general. Okay, this is Starty. Maybe not walk over there. Walk over here instead. Now, in terms of the Starty, just make sure they're all on fire at will, because might as well. Don't want them to specifically target anyone. Kind of want to just get a mass uh, route going. Our soldiers are at the wall. Now the Spanish guys Our are just swordsmen. Basically Have Iberian infantry but through. with their javelins so charging them won't be too much of an issue. We just need a uh, we just need a, uh, a breach to get out all our coming through. A breach with the infantry that is because we don't want to be charging into warband. Absolutely that would be a disaster. Especially with the uh, the movement in these settlements. They've got a few more, they've got more barbarian mercenaries. Some slingers. Slingers are actually quite good. So don't know. Oh look, 48%. Now do we want the Hastati to charge through straight away? Oh they're gonna they look like okay that was over here. Look like they're gonna charge us. Yeah, we'll charge them. 100%, let's go. Yeah, they're broken. Nice. Um, send these guys in. You just move to the side. Not with the ram, though. Now, walk around here. Now, we will walk. Because they should be broken by the time we get in. Now, these guys over this side. There's a lot of infantry here. Okay, they're just barbarian mercenaries, so we should be able to take them. They're the Spanish mercenaries. Yeah, use all your ammunition on our mercenaries. That's good. And cavalry will probably be coming through the gate, so we'll move over here. What else are we doing? We're going to get shot. Go, 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 go. I want you to sprint. Yeah, they're broken. Let's go. Don't, don't fire your javelins, just charge them, charge them. Run them down, run them down. Kill as many as you can. Um, who are they sending over here? They're sending slingers. Our cavalry will deal with that. Ok, 
Okay, you barbarian cavalry do this. Uh, and also chase after that skirmisher warband. Now, can we come through here? It looks like we can, but I don't know whether we actually can. Whether yeah, no, we don't think we actually can. We have to walk around this way. Now you chase them. Uh, these 14 Astarte, you run away. Now over this side, how are we doing? Okay, you're broke, but kind of broken. Let's charge this warband. Okay, this Astarte is broken. Not great. It's alright, we're, we're making gains over this side, so shouldn't need to worry too much about it. Right, everyone charge this Belearic Sliggers. Where are you? You're up here. Alright, we'll bring you through this way. Okay, no, no we won't. Oof, we don't want to be just charging like spearmen. Although, if we retreat, let's retreat, let's get out, let's get out, quick, quick, quick. If we can. We don't want to be dealing with these guys. We've got a breach over here as well. Just unfortunate. No, 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 actually, don't fire at your own men. Right, it's starty. Let's go around here. Um, this cavalry. I'm gonna come up here. These guys are all out. No, get out, get out. I said get out. Apart from you, you can stay in. They might actually charge out. Ah, oh, no, they, they're not. Okay, they've got their warlord here. It's just getting the cavalry in. Massive problem. I mean, technically, we, we can just go around the other way, really. Spanish mercenaries or barber, yeah. Right, let's charge those Spanish mercenaries, let's break them. Those barbarian mercenaries might come and support, but we'll probably go back the other way. Now they've left this basically undefended now. Pretty nice. I think we just charge them mostly, mostly in the back there. Now the scripting is helping us around this. You guys come up here. So, siege battles are so messy in this game. With well, with cavalry anyway. We had some hoplites over here. We'd be absolutely smashing everyone. Um, right, you've come back. You come over here. Um, okay, let's get in. Let's get in now. I said, get back. Don't need to be here anymore, do we? Yeah, you're gonna route now. You didn't do what I said. Oh, stupid. It's kind of dumb how they just stay there. You tell them to get out, and they just stay. All right, everyone, actually, come across here. We want to getting some space. Where are you? You're still here. You need to come back from routing. Okay, they're going to charge us here. That's good. Uh, Astarte should be able to hold their own kind of against these guys. Now, the Warlord. If we all charged him and killed him, I think this battle would be over. You come in here and maybe get rid of the Barbarian Mercenaries. Okay, apparently our General's going to attack. Yeah, at least he's out of the fight though. So we'll get into that warlord. Barbarian warlords aren't like massively OP either. Now if we can come up here and flank these guys, which we might not be able to do. Yeah, just because of the scripting, we should be good. Do that. Right, how are we going against the warlord here? The enemy general's routing. We need to kill him, kill him, kill him. Yeah, he's dead. Good. Should be able to break everyone else now then. Charge, charge, charge. Yeah, all going. They should be routing soon. Wavering. They're exhausted as well. How are we looking? Warmed up. Yeah, we're all good. Charge them down, chase them down. Uh, we don't need these, Astarte. Spanish mercenaries breaking. Now, when our cavalry gets set up over here, we're probably just gonna do a massive charge both sides into them. So let's bring our cavalry up here for that. We don't want to deal with them warband though. If 
these are stars you can like hold this side that would be awesome for us and you guys charge into the back of the Spanish mercenaries now I don't know what they're doing but if they're going to turn their back we will we will charge them now our starting are breaking but we've started breaking them They just went from victory to defeat in one second. Right, these barbarian guys. Yeah, they're all breaking. Let's chase them, charge them down, charge them down as much as possible. And surround them. Now this is just going to be a, a grind, I think. As long as our generals don't die, it's all right with me. Now, yeah, they've got basically no one left after we just charge them all down. You cowards. I can't believe you ran away from the battle. When we literally had just won it. Yeah, we're very weak on our starting now. Could exterminate this town and then go back to Massilia. It's probably the best option. Yeah, not great. We still killed more than double what they did. It was just... Yeah, it was tough. Getting into the battle without... Um, without much infantry. Now the cavalry is absolutely ruthlessly deadly on the open field, but now you are only a town. Let's enslave you because it doesn't matter too much. Destroy the shrine to Estus. Now we don't want to be here anymore. Recruit a peasant. Can you reach here? Mm, I don't think you'd be able to walk in. So. Let's come back to Massilia. Get as far out as we can. Now, can, in Massilia, can we hire Hastati? Yeah, we can. Now, what have we lost? It looks like we've lost a couple of units. You can't go in there. Oh, now that that one's lost its experience, I was going to say. Um, hmm. It's the infantry that's too slow here, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we might want to cancel a building somewhere and be able to, so we can retrain, so we can train one Hastati. Let's get a bit more infantry on the open field. They're not that useful, but as soon as we get into the battles, they should be. Uh, now we're going to fight this. I think it's going to take a while to fight that, to be honest. Um, so we'll probably do that on the next video so this will be the end of this video guys and we'll start the next video with this battle so thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe like and follow me on twitch where you can catch me gaming every single day so thank you very much guys i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you again on the next video